turning on the water tunnel. The first thing you should do is look at the motor controller here. If it is not powered, then you're going to come down to this position and flip this switch to on. The controller will start. And simply, if you hit run, it will turn the motor on at a particular frequency. You see here the value in Hertz. So you are running at 10 Hertz. There is a calibration table provided in the lab manual to tell you what free stream velocity corresponds to that Hertz value. To stop the tunnel, simply hit the stop button. If you are running the tunnel and you want to change the speed, we'll hit run again. It'll go back up to 10. You simply just have to change the value by using the up or down arrows here. Hitting stop. To shut off the unit, simply hit stop, and then turn this back to the off position, and the controller will eventually turn off.